Hello, dear student. Welcome to Learn English with Yellow Fox. In this video session, we'll delve into simple and practical vocabulary. Let's listen to a story about Maya and her grocery shopping adventure. Grab a pen and paper to make notes and pay close attention. Are you ready? As I stepped into the bright, bustling supermarket, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement. It was my favorite time of the week, grocery shopping day. With my shopping list in hand, I navigated my way through the aisles, eager to fill my cart with all the essentials. First stop, the produce section. The vibrant colors of the fruit and vegetables greeted me as I carefully selected the freshest items. I picked out crisp lettuce, juicy tomatoes, and bananas, making sure to check for any bruises or blemishes. I also picked out potatoes, carrots, courgettes, and eggplants. Next, I headed to the dairy aisle. I reached for a carton of milk, checking the expiration date to ensure it was fresh. Then, I grabbed a block of cheese and a tub of yogurt, remembering to choose low-fat options for a healthier choice. As I moved on to the pantry staples, I scanned the shelves for items like pasta, rice, and canned goods. I made sure to stock up on essentials like flour, sugar, and cooking oil, knowing I would need them for my favorite recipes throughout the week. The aroma of freshly baked bread drew me to the bakery section, where I indulged in a warm baguette. Finally, it was time to check out. I unloaded my items onto the conveyor belt and watched as the cashier scanned each one. I carefully counted out my money, making sure I had enough to cover the cost of my groceries. With bags in hand, I made my way out of the supermarket, feeling satisfied knowing that I had everything I needed to create delicious meals for the week ahead. As I walked home, I couldn't help but look forward to the culinary adventures that awaited me in my kitchen. Now let's take a closer look at some important vocabulary and expressions from our story. This will help us improve our English skills. Grab your pen and paper and let's begin. Grocery shopping is the activity of going to a store to buy food and other household items needed for cooking and daily living. A shopping list is a written or electronic list of items that a person needs to buy when they go shopping, usually organized by categories such as food, household supplies, or personal items. Aisles are the narrow pathways between shelves or displays in a store where customers walk to browse or select products. The produce section is the part of a supermarket or grocery store where fresh fruits and vegetables are displayed and sold. Bruises are dark, discolored marks on the skin caused by injury or trauma, often appearing as a result of bumping or hitting something. Blemishes are marks or imperfections on something, such as a fruit or vegetable, that detract from its appearance. Dairy refers to products made from milk, such as cheese, yogurt, and butter. The expiration date is the date printed on food or other perishable items, indicating when it is no longer considered safe or suitable to consume or use. Low fat refers to food items that contain a reduced amount of fat compared to regular versions, often for health or dietary reasons. Canned goods are food items that have been processed, cooked, and sealed in a metal can, typically to preserve them for longer periods. Shelves are flat surfaces attached to walls or furniture, used for storing or displaying items such as books, groceries, or decorations. Pantry staples are essential food items that are commonly kept on hand in the kitchen, such as flour, sugar, rice, pasta, and canned goods used for cooking and preparing meals. Recipes are sets of instructions that outline the ingredients and steps needed to prepare a specific dish or meal. They provide guidance on how to combine and cook ingredients to create a desired outcome. 
A bakery is a place where bread, pastries, cakes, and other baked goods are made and sold. Checkout refers to the process of paying for items at a store or supermarket before leaving. This typically involves scanning or tallying the items and then completing the payment transaction. A conveyor belt is a moving belt, typically made of rubber or metal, that transports items or goods from one place to another, often used in supermarkets to move groceries from the shopping area to the checkout counter. A cashier is a person who works at a store or supermarket, responsible for handling payments from customers for their purchases and providing them with receipts. Meals are food items eaten together at specific times, such as breakfast, lunch, or dinner, typically consisting of one or more dishes prepared for nourishment and enjoyment. Great job! Now listen to the story one more time and pay attention to the vocabulary you learned in today's lesson. As I stepped into the bright, bustling supermarket, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement. It was my favorite time of the week, grocery shopping day. With my shopping list in hand, I navigated my way through the aisles eager to fill my cart with all the essentials. First stop, the produce section. The vibrant colors of the fruit and vegetables greeted me as I carefully selected the freshest items. I picked out crisp lettuce, juicy tomatoes, and bananas, making sure to check for any bruises or blemishes. I also picked out potatoes, carrots, courgettes, and eggplants. Next, I headed to the dairy aisle. I reached for a carton of milk, checking the expiration date to ensure it was fresh. Then, I grabbed a block of cheese and a tub of yogurt, remembering to choose low-fat options for a healthier choice. As I moved on to the pantry staples, I scanned the shelves for items like pasta, rice, and canned goods. I made sure to stock up on essentials like flour, sugar, and cooking oil, knowing I would need them for my favorite recipes throughout the week. The aroma of freshly baked bread drew me to the bakery section, where I indulged in a warm baguette. Finally, it was time to check out. I unloaded my items onto the conveyor belt and watched as the cashier scanned each one. I carefully counted out my money, making sure I had enough to cover the cost of my groceries. With bags in hand, I made my way out of the supermarket, feeling satisfied knowing that I had everything I needed to create delicious meals for the week ahead. As I walked home, I couldn't help but look forward to the culinary adventures that awaited me in my kitchen. That's it for today's lesson. Keep studying because practice makes perfect. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you on our next video session.